Hello, it is the last day of June 2022. I was going to show the garden. Hopefully the sun isn't really bad. There's the elderberry. You can see it's putting on lots of berries. And the apple tree. This is the Granny Smith apple tree. And the Jonathan apple tree. And our plum trees and our peach trees. We did some trimming. We may end up cutting them down, but we're undecided on that yet right now. And the pear tree is loaded all the way to the top. Hopefully you can see that. It is like literally all the way to the top. And there's another. Let's see if you can come over here. If the sun's not blinding us. And you can see the branches are all the way to the top. Don't know how we're going to get those down. <laughs> um, let's see. We'll just continue on here. There's the other apple tree. I don't know that we're going to have as many apples as we did last year. We'll just have to wait and see. But maybe if they get bigger, which they're kind of more spaced out, so they might get bigger. We shall see. Oh, my finger was right in the front. I'm recording with the camera or on the phone. So it may, be, may not be as good, and it may. I don't know. We'll see. This is the pear tree we got because we didn't think the other one was going to do anything. And there's the new apple tree and let's see I got the flowers mulched here and there I ran out so I got some mulched here and there let's see what else we got I still got to water the blueberries with a little bit of water from there the foxglove's still there but everything looks pretty sad you can see the worms have got the kale there Got a few strawberries that survived. Um, the lobelia is dying like it did last year with the heat. Got our other elderberry. The lettuces are bolting. And I've got more uh, flowers. I've got the banana tree and the rose bush. That's the mint. There's a flower there. Sunflower there, zinnias there, more zinnias, another sunflower and zinnia that have been mulched for the most part. Like I said, I had to use it sparingly, so I just mulched around where they actually were. Hopefully the lighting's not going to be too bad. I still got to cut the yellow bits off the tomatoes and stuff tonight, so I'm about to do that after I finish this and water everything, but it looks so sad. It's droopy little leaves. This is the butterfly bush. Let's see, most of them are already used up. This thing was so much prettier last year for some reason. I don't know why it's not quite as pretty as it was last year, but man, this bush has gotten big. It's way bigger than it used to be. That one's pretty. That one, the whole thing's pretty, but they're, they're really neat. This is like supposed to be the tricolor, and I really like it. We got our strawberries. Even the strawberries are struggling. You can see the comfries. They just can't handle it. I still got to weed this bed. Um, but that's a little bitty tiny nasturtium flower. It looks like it's giving up the ghost there. So I don't think it's going to make it. But they're, they seem alive at the moment. But we'll see. And you can see like I have used all of the water. All that's down there I can't get. And both of these are empty. I still got more at the blueberries, and even my bucket where I do my fertilizer, it's empty. Well, since the sun's not shining here, we'll do here first. And I thought this was dead. Oh, it's starting to come back now that the it's got a little bit of shade. That is a little bitty Jack B. Little pumpkin that I planted. I was supposed to grow it for Mandy last year, and I didn't. But look at these elderberries. This is another elderberry. And... It is just loaded. I had, this thing was so small last year. I don't even think it got as tall as me. But it's not much taller than me right now. But it didn't have anything on it. And there's the mints. And there was yesterday hibiscus. I tried to make a video yesterday. And I did it the incorrect way. I was doing it up and down instead of horizontal. And the, the either the bunny or Mandy's dog messed up my rosemary there. It completely pulled up the sedum. Mandy's dog did, but it looks like it's going to survive, so that's good. I think my echinacea is officially dead, and the mints are even struggling, but they look a little bit better since they're getting 
some shade right now. And the bee balm is done. It's, it was really a light pink color. I don't remember if that was like that the last time or not. Um, there is the black hollyhocks. I need to weed this area. I've got a few of the really tall weeds, but I really need to weed it. These are the marshmallow, all nice, big, and tall and pretty with their flowers. There they are. And there's more uh, hollyhocks in and amongst there. Um, I was going to show that's the poor tea plant that died. That one's still alive. And then I've got this one here that's still alive. And I cut back all the comfrey for the tea. And that's orange mint in there, if you can see past the weeds right here. <laughs> that's orange mint, and it really does smell orangey. Um, let's see, this is more marshmallow and a kale that's been here for a while. It bloomed and flowered, and then these little pods are the seeds, so we'll probably have tons of kale plants here <laughs> next year. Uh, maybe even this fall, we'll have to see. And then there's elderberry here and oregano that's going to flower. I cut the comfrey back here too as well. These are our little bitty moringa trees. We put them there so hopefully the water from the air conditioner will water them. They're doing okay. And that's pineapple mint. And here's the woolly lamb's ear. I love whenever it blooms. It's so pretty. Really pretty. And then that's a different kind of elderberry here. I have different elderberries on each end. And this yarrow is still blooming. The other yarrow in the garden is just about done. There's a little bit blooming, but not much. And I've got another sedum down here. And the marshmallow. Uh, the horseradish. Spearmint. Willow. And I've got peppermint. Oh, goodness, in there. What is that? Hopefully that's not a hornet. Okay, uh, this is the elderberry from around back again. You can see how big the berries are starting to get. They're not changing yet, but they're getting big. Okay, I guess we'll go into the garden. We'll show what the garden looks like here. I love the sunflowers. There are so many sunflowers blooming. I'm so happy about it. Let's see, we'll start back here at the berry patch. It's starting to look pretty sad. But, oh, I went down the wrong aisle. These are our blueberries all down here. And then there I've got blueberries and blackberries and raspberries. These are, if I can find the little raspberry babies. Those are the only raspberries that survived. There's this one. Let's see, that one, if you can see it in there. And that one. And all the comfrey is not happy. It doesn't like the summer. But then our blueberries look pretty good. That's a blackberry. This is one that I dug up there and all like I said all that red blueberries and down here I wanted to show some of the blackberries are looking bad but I think they do that after they fruit oh I need to go the other side well I'm just doing this all wrong okay here is the little grapes hopefully you can see that I know the sun's shining really bright we got little grapes there, and then there's more, and then these two rows are the, our Grandma Young's blackberries. They didn't do very good this year. I don't know if it's just because I transplanted them or what, but this whole bed, this four foot by 24 foot bed was potatoes, and I dug those up, and I planted, you can see here and there, I've got sweet potatoes planted. Hopefully they'll make it. I don't know, that's an awfully hot day, so we'll see. And then this whole bed is peppers with a few sweet potatoes in it, but you can see it is loaded. There's some peppers there. Oh goodness, it scared me. More peppers there. Hopefully you can see that. And then more peppers here. And these are the ones that are about a month behind the others. See, there's the yarrow that's almost done. That sunflower hasn't bloomed yet. And these are all my bigger tomatoes. They're starting to change color. I cannot see the screen at all, so hopefully you can see. There's, I think those are the orange ones, maybe the pink ones. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But look, look how pretty the sunflowers. They are beautiful. 
and uh, that's the zinnias and this is a whole sweet potato bed they're looking better now their bunnies have been munching on them so they're doing better Hopefully you can see the sunflowers, and then this is the tomatoes. I need to get out here and pick, but the tomatoes, um, there's a lot, and I need to cut all the yellow bits off, and you can see the squash, or not squash, cucumber looks really sad, but there's more sunflowers there, and we'll go in here, and there. I cut about five pounds of cucumbers the other day, and there's still lots hanging in here. But uh, they're they're really tall. I mean, the the tomatoes are like as tall as the the trellis, pretty much. And then there's some noodle beans, and there's lots and lots of tomatoes that we could pick. And then I've got a few squash plants. Um, these are the lemon squash. I've got one there. They're doing all right. They haven't produced a whole lot just yet. And then this is a pumpkin I have here. And then we, oh yeah, we have some watermelon. There's one there and one down here. I think that's the watermelon Ty got me for Mother's Day. And then this is a uh, flower I really like. It's called Lemon Queen. It's a lighter color than the others. It's kind of a pastel-y color. But... I really, really am loving the sunflowers this year. And you can see how tall the tomatoes are with the trellis. And I think that's about everything. I've got a few blueberries and pots still over there that are alive. And I think that's pretty much it. It's time to get in the shade so I can show what it looks like. But still no rain. Rain barrels are empty. They're saying we might get some in a few days. We'll see. But I really like like the sunflowers. They're very happy. <laughs> Anyways, we'll talk to you later. Bye.